Hi, welcome to this tutorial on the commutative probability function f of x. This is a capital F, okay, f of x. And it's defined as f of x equals the probability that x is less than or equal to x. So, if you've got a probability distribution table for a discrete random variable, then if that random variable x has the following probability distribution, then we should be able to calculate various values of f. So for instance, if we had f of 3, what that means is that we're looking at the probability that x is less than or equal to 3. And clearly, that's going to be equal to getting 3, getting 2, or getting 1. So it's going to be 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.4. And what does that come to? Well, that comes to 0 0.7. So you can get questions like that, just very simple, just working out what f of a particular value is. So it's just going to be the probability x is less than or equal to that value. Now you could get a question like this one though. Let's just have a look at this one. If we've got a commutative probability function f of x such that f of 1 equals 0 0.2, f of 2 is 0 0.9, and f of 3 is 1, and this is defined for a random variable x, what we've got to do is construct a probability distribution table for our random variable x. How are we going to do this? We might like to pause the video, have a go, and come back in a moment and just see if you've got the same solution as I've got. Okay, let's see how you got on if you had a go. Well, our random verbal x is going to take on values 1, 2, and 3. So we can think of constructing a table something like this. We've got our observed value and it can take on values 1, 2 and 3. And we've got to work out the probability that our random variable x takes on any of these three values, 1, 2 and 3. Well, if we wanted to work out, for instance, the probability of x equaling 3, then to work out the probability that x equals 3, all I need to do is work out what the probability of x being less than or equal to 3 is minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. In other words, the sum of these three probabilities minus the sum of these two probabilities. And this is f of 3 minus and this is f of 2. And so you can see from above that f of 3 is 1, because we should know that all three probabilities will total 1. f of 2 is 0.9, the sum of these two probabilities. So we've got 1 minus 0.9, which leaves us with 0.1. So we can see that this probability, probability x equals 3, is going to be 0.1. And what about 2? Well, similarly, to get the probability that x equals 2, all I need to do is to do f of 2 minus f of 1. 0 0.9 minus 0 0.2 is going to give me 0 0.7. And finally, if I've got one more probability to work out, I know that they should all total 1. So we've got 0 0.7 and 0 0.1 is 0 0.8, and this would be 0 0.2. Or, alternatively, f of 1 is going to be 0 0.2, because the probability of being less than or equal to 1 is 0 0.2. There's no other values below 1. So clearly, this is going to be the probability x is 1. All right, so I hope that gives you some idea on how to answer questions like this. And that brings us now to the end of this tutorial on the commutative probability function f of x.